I'm Ben Stockwell. Today, I'm joined by Sophia Dries from the Vermont Field Hockey Program and the reigning America East Offensive Player of the Week. Sophia, congratulations on this week's award. You had your first career hat trick over the weekend against Dartmouth. What was working for you in that contest? I think one of the biggest things that was working for me and us as a team was just our corner execution. I think it's been a little tough in the beginning of the season, and we have been good at our execution in the past three years. Um, and I think it was just great to get the confidence back and really convert. For you, what would you say is your your strongest skill on a field hockey field? Um, I think my ability to see the bigger picture and just have an open view and see open spaces in my teammates and then the timing of getting the ball to them where they need it. I, I like to think just setting up, setting my teammates up for success. Obviously big win on Sunday, both, you know, score wise, but also just to keep the momentum rolling for this program. What good things have you seen from your team over the last few games here? You know, even including that main contest where you did outshoot the black bears. Yeah, I think we had to do a lot of adjustment in the last two games. Um, the season has started out a little rough for us, but we changed things around positional wise. Um, I'm playing center back now instead of the low screen, what I used to play. Um, and I think we've just leveled up a lot in terms of connecting with each other, playing as a unit, playing together instead of going individual. So yeah, I'm super proud of of the team in that sense, in terms of adjusting and just like playing synced, I guess. For you, how has that change to center back been just in terms of the way you approach each contest? I think it's a nice switch up considering I've played low screens every, every game since freshman year. Um, so I'm really enjoying it, really embracing it right now. It's giving me more space to uh, build the platform from the bottom up, I guess. Um, yeah, so I'm enjoying it so far, and I was a little nervous if I was going to be able to score as center back, but I guess it's working, so yeah. Nice. Uh, what have you enjoyed about this team so far this year? I'm really enjoying this team because I think we are at a state where our team dynamic is the best it's ever been. We have a super, super healthy supporting group of people. And we're always there for each other. We're being honest with each other, what we need from each other. We're being just super supportive to each other. And yeah, it's a great space to be at and one that I want to come to every single day and have fun with each other. Nice. For your team, big road matchup on Friday going over to UNH, a team that's had some success the last few years with the strong offensive firepower they have. What does your team need to do if you guys want to have a chance to be there in the last five minutes to get a victory? Yeah, I think we just need to be prepared of UNH's speed. I think we know that they're a team that um, can play pr pretty individual, and we just need to be prepared for that and adjust to that or fall back into our patterns and keep playing our game, um, know what we can do, and just keep doing what we can do. And I think something that's been working last weekend is just like keep coming out hot, scoring in the first couple of minutes, setting a statement. And that's what we're going to um, want to do in the next couple of games and just dominate from the beginning on. Sophia, congratulations on this award and best of luck on the upcoming games here as we're a third of the way through conference play. Yeah, thank you so much.